Hello, this is not a spring chick, and today, of course, Obama has claimed victory! For what? Well, anyway, we're getting ready for the Olympics to start. In fact, actually, opening ceremonies are on Friday, but preliminaries, yes. Of course, there's preliminary sporting events, right? There's qualifications and things like that. Um, although, they're, if they're at the Olympics, you know, it's like the beginning part. Okay. You're going, huh? Okay. Well, anyway, the Olympics have started. And so has our coverage, so check it out. But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, because Obama declared victory on the economy today because the Euro, the Euro is basically, the uh, European market had decided to, to take Obama up on his uh, offer to give them printing presses free of charge and since they will have our printing presses to print their money, the, the economy has to turn miraculously around, which it did today. I mean, it's up 200 points today. You don't bother the fact that, really? that everybody after hours is going to report massive losses like they did last night. It's just the news that the economy is now on its uptick. Is, you know, it's just it basically it's day two of an asteroid is going to hit the Earth tomorrow, so therefore buy all the stock you can today. Mm. The market on news that Central Bank will print as much money as is needed to shore up the Eurozone. That's called an oxymoron. The more money you print, the worth, the less your Euro is going to be worth. But in order to make certain that the Euro doesn't collapse, they are going to print as many Euros as is necessary to make certain that it doesn't get devalued. Wait a <laughs> uh, They went to school. With, again, I, I understand that the I mean, isn't it if they print... The <laughs> It's an oxymoron. The more you print, the less value it's worth, and they're going to print as many as needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can guarantee you that my, uh, I had family members that had, your, had one million uh, Deutschmarks, uh, a whole, whole um, push carts full of one million Deutschmark notes, mm -hmm. and they could get maybe a loaf of bread with a push cart of a million Deutschmarks, because all they did was well, we'll just print more money, and then everybody will have money. Oh, is that what it way. is? <coughs> that yeah. Obama thinks that's how it's done. And then Titanic 2, they have a safety deck, Australian tycoon. I know that they had a safety thing. The problem was they never finished it. The boat, what happened was, was the watertight compartments were supposed to spill from floor to ceiling with hatchways in between. What they did was they left the area open instead of going floor to ceiling. So guess what happens when they get to the top of it, it just goes over the top into the next compartment. Now, modern ships are, de are just demanded that your, the ships are built floor to ceiling in every department so the water can't go over the top. If it can't go through the hatches, and it can't go over the top, the boat basically cannot sink. They're called watertight. Titanic 2 to have a safety deck, Australian Tycoon. Oh, she like that well, of course. But she's standing way away from the computer and reading it. I know, and Obama calls, instead of being right on top of it, Obama calls for tougher gun checks. Oh yeah, basically, and uh, who will decide the rules? Obama, of course. This is, okay, I told people, I've been telling him for days, he was going to jump to the left. I mean, the Democratic Party leadership has said, don't do this, stay away from it, it's a loser. So naturally, Obama does exactly what the leaders have told him not to do once again. Mm -hmm. They told him, don't do Obamacare because it's going to screw us, they lost the House. And they told him, don't do, don't do this the financial stuff, it's going to cost us. Don't do, you know, say that we're going to take all the dividends away from your grandparents because it's going to cost us. So. He doesn't really give a damn. He's a socialist. He's got to run the country that way. And Anthony Weiner denies comeback plans and won't rule out a political future. He's got to run for mayor of the city of New York next year. That's called a, that's called a comeback. I mean, the figure the guy got he he, he lied to people, have, have created a false uh, he filed a false criminal complaint with the FBI. But that's not that doesn't count because he's a Democrat and Democrats don't pay attention to laws in this nation. And family says NCAA sanctions on Penn State defame paternal's legacy. Okay, this is the first time in history that, pe that thing, people were charged, they, they paid a penalty for something they were never charged with and couldn't be proved. There is no law against what you don't do. It doesn't make any difference. There is a, 
in, 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 if you live in a state where there is no good Samaritan law and you pull off the side of the road to help somebody that was severely injured, or if you try to stop a criminal, you basically um, can be sued and taken to court over what you've done. Pennsylvania does not have the law, folks. If you tell anybody that anything happens, you become a part of the case. And you can be sent, actually can go to jail. Oh, really? That's right. And a second person of interest was interviewed in Aurora. There's only one person of interest, the loony that did it. But now I mean, it, they already have them. So the what? Okay, what it is is that the Democrats need all kinds of people that they could say, well, this man illegally did this, this man did that. He didn't do anything illegally. The problem is they, okay, we need more gun laws. Well, the gun laws are on the books. They don't enforce the gun laws that are on the books. If you don't enforce the gun law, first of all, you cannot legally buy a magazine that shoots 100 shells. That can't be done. Is that what he had? He bought a magazine legally that shoots 100 shells. And then here's the big problem, folks. I'm going to hate to tell everybody this. The assault rifle jammed. Oh. Yeah. So, Which means he would have killed a lot more people except it jammed. It jammed. He was just spraying shots anyway, but the thing jammed. He had a shotgun, and the shotgun was doing the damage. Yeah. So it's about, you know, hitting, a shotgun is basically a big, wide thing, so you don't, you don't aim at anything, you just shoot. And Obama defends handling of Iraq and hits Romney as violence flares. Um, basically, we're going, as soon as we leave Iraq, the country is going to fall. As soon as we leave Afghanistan, the country is going to fall. And they're going to, well, George Bush is responsible. No, he's not responsible. The majority of the people say that Obama is responsible for God over everything, including, they said he promised that he would uh, immediately end the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. We're still there. And now we're running instead of just leaving. There's a difference. You know, he's doing, he's doing, uh, the, the, you're doing the thing from Vietnam all over again where you're going to see people trying to get on American airplanes to get out of Iraq and Afghanistan. You're going to see the last, you know, the, the last car pulling out with the press filming it with the Taliban shooting at everybody because that's what's going to happen in the countries, both of them. And Obama lays out the choice for voters in new ad. Yeah, uh, I, I love this. Everything is better under me than it was. We tried George Bush and the Republican policy that didn't work. Well, we had a successful government under them until the Democrats won the House and the Senate and decided to destroy the housing industry. <clears throat> How they do that? Well, they decided we're going to teach big oil a lesson. We're going to tax every dime that they ever make and then give it to the people. Guess what happened to the cost of oil? Right. Because we don't own the stuff. It's just brought in from out of the country mostly. You're trying to tax somebody who's bringing stuff in, so guess what they do to the prices? They jack it out of sight, oh. and people then had a choice. Do we keep our homes, do we pay payments on homes, or do we pay for the extra cost of gas? And anybody knows that when Obama, okay, that the gas prices did go up, but they went back down under Bush when Bush managed to get the, the, the people overseas calmed down. They're not going to raise your taxes because I'll veto it. It's not a support. So gas went down. They are now two dollars a gallon more than they were when uh, Obama took office, though. And sex website probe in Colorado shooting probe. Oh yeah, I had to do it. I love it. I sex website probe. It had to do. Okay, guess who's probing the sex website? Who? It, the Republicans. The Democrats are probing violence. The Republicans are. The Democrats say it's gun violence. Republicans say it's sex. No, I'm not the guy was just a fruitcake. Mm -hmm. I'm even getting people over on Fox that said, I mean, this guy looks like he's not all there. And, he, mm -hmm. and why is it they're trying to, this, this like they're trying to, you know, that the person is not all there, you just take him and throw the key away. You don't execute him, you throw the key away. Said, and here's another one thing. Everybody knows he did it. Since everybody knows he did it, you have to spend the next 20 years <coughs> proving it. Yeah, it's like, like 80 witnesses there, to the There's fact. 80 witnesses. It's, and, it's like, isn't that a slam shot? And they like caught him with the gun shooting people. That's the And he probably know. said that he did it. Oh, yeah. I mean, they just, they, he's got, but now that what it does, he's lawyered up, and the ACLU will be in soon saying that his rights are being violated. Remember, the, the, it's been a year, over a year since Gifford was shot. They, they basically they need they another do. gun control issue. Yes, the, the Democrats want to keep it alive for as long as they can. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, most people actually don't listen to what's being said. <laughs>